Wilfried Njonta was in hot water in August as he refused to play for Leeds United as they faced Birmingham in the championship in Shrewsbury Town in the Carabao Cup. The reason for it was that Njonta was trying to force a move back into the Premier League, Everton showing the most interest out of all the Premier League teams. Now the transfer market has closed, what exactly happened and what is the story behind Njonta? The Italian international caught the eyes of the 13-time Swiss champions FC Zurich in early 2020 while he was still playing for Inter Milan's under-19 squad, scoring on an off at just 16 years old. But his age and experience was clearly an issue during his first season in Zurich. Even though the youngster was subbed in during the last minute of the game, he was still able to grab an assist on his FCZ debut. His performances weren't half bad, as he played for the FCZ under-21s at the time, yet scored almost each time he set foot on the pitch. At the end of his first season, Willy had just about played 600 minutes in the Swiss Super League and scored his first goal on the last day of the season, securing Zurich from a relegation battle and giving a glimpse of what was to come next season. In the 2021 season, Nyonto and his teammates set the Swiss first division on fire, losing barely any games and securing the Swiss league title four games before the season was over after a 13-year championship drought. Nyonto was a vital part of the team that season, adding eight goals and three assists, even though he only played a full 90 minutes twice making this stat even more impressive and receiving a song dedicated to the young forward. On top of that, Nyonto carried the captain's armband for Italy's under-19 squad during the European qualifiers and scored five goals and assisted twice in just six games. And with these performances, the Premier League clubs, mainly Tottenham and Leeds, were quick to show interest. And on transfer deadline day, after having started the season with FC Zurich, Nyonto headed over to England, more specifically Elland Road, and signed for £3.8 million on a five-year deal to Leeds United, which would come back to haunt him one year down the line. Wait, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. Let's keep growing. Now, back to the video. Nyonto got off to a bit of a rough start, not straight away making it into the big league, but proving himself in the Premier League too by scoring on his second appearance for the under-21s. And for the first time, at the end of October, Jesse Marsh subbed Nyonto on to make his debut in a miraculous win over Liverpool. And in his next game, Nyonto grabbed an assist and continued to be highly influential in Leeds' game and scored his first ever goal for Leeds in front of the home crown in a draw against West Ham. And just two weeks later, Nyonto became a fan favourite after scoring an absolute worldie against Cardiff City in the first minute and adding a second goal to his tally later that game. And another two weeks later, this time in the Theatre of Dreams, Nyonto scored again in the first minute of the game, becoming the youngest overseas player to score at Old Trafford in the Premier League. At the end of the season, Willie ended up with two Premier League goals and four assists. However, this wasn't enough to keep Leeds in the Premier League and sadly, Leeds went down to the Championship in their final game in the First Division. But instead of re-saying and focusing on returning to the English top flight with his team, Willie had other ideas. Everton was highly interested in taking the 19-year-old off of Leeds' hands, but Leeds and Nyonto's representatives were not interested, stating that Nyonto will not be sold this summer. But Nyonto was determined to get back to the Prem, as he wanted a bigger chance at making the selection for Italy's national squad at the European Championships next summer. And so, Nyonto requested not to be considered against Shrewsbury Town in the Carabao Cup, and just one week later, before the game against West Brom, he handed in an official transfer request. Everton had received a bid of £25 million for the striker, yet Leeds turned the offer down almost instantly and later released a statement. This is now an internal disciplinary matter and the club will make no further comment other than to reiterate that Willie is not for sale. However, after much uproar and frustration by many Leeds fans and whatever disciplinary matter he faced, Nyonto was back on the team sheet in the league game against Ipswich and scored in the thrilling 4-3 victory, even though manager Daniel Farke had made it clear that he only wants committed players in his squad. But now the question we all have is, will Nyonto leave Ellen Road sooner than 2027 and will he be picked for the Italian national team at the European Cup next year? Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.